So this is the side of the large mansion. See the road's blocked off now. The mansion is sealed. It is still exists. There's another thing we want to come up here to see. It's an old abandoned family cemetery. But I hear it's barely spooky. And it's just up the trail. You can see the mansion just through the trees. This house I just learned was actually moved here piece by piece right after the Civil War from another location. It has been here ever since. Man, it's something. It is well over 100 years old. Unfortunately, there'll be no access today, but we do have this old cemetery that's been long forgotten that we're about to explore. So we got all these headstones and markers here. And that's like the family headstone. There's no dates on these, which is weird. And then there's a lot of unmarked stone graves. Um, a lot of times those would be possibly slaves on the property. Here is a Revolutionary War veteran. They don't. There's no date. Jesse Wells. This is his wife, Elizabeth. It's not a very large cemetery, but it's actually very peaceful out here today. If you look through the trees there, you can see the mansion. So this was all families. I guess the Wells were the first families to build this home and live here and it's passed down. Now it's, it's abandoned. It looks in pretty bad shape too. I really hope somebody comes through and fixes it up. 1891. Howl. So, 1889 is when Myra Howell passed away. This is an old cemetery mid 1800s so that tells me that home predates the 1850s it's beautiful up here Just looking this has the name maloney on it which is the name of a road through here not sure about the history of that family i know they had to be prominent to have a road named after them a whole area named after them yeah look at the size of some of these trees It looks like the remains of an old sign. You see the old fence that is now falling down and several old headstones through here. Can't really make out the dates on these. Check out these bigger ones to see. So these were just stone markers at one point. This. Sarah Parker, born in 1855 and died at six years old in 1861. 60 years old, N. M. Parker, 72. Imagine this was probably a parent of young Sarah. Harriet Parker, 1876. Wow. Born in 1862. So 24 years old. Thomas Parker. Died in 1886. So look at the mansion that maybe someday I'll get to explore. I know this is a short one, but I wanted to share this 
peaceful little cemetery has been forgotten. Guys, I thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.